Hey, welcome to today's video. Today's video is leaders know how to refill themselves. Because the world can drain us quite often or consistently drain us. So imagine a big glass of water and there's little holes throughout the glass. And as you can tell, if obviously water wants to take the easiest path or at least path of resistance, it goes, it eventually drains out. And often our life can feel like that. Or leaders or as parents or you know, or any a leader of any organization, we can feel like that. Because, you know, for example, the, someone can cut us off in traffic, or uh, someone says something apathetic towards us, or makes a negative comment, or someone's late, or something didn't go the way it wanted to, and, uh, or maybe we got a ticket on the way home. My point of saying is that we can get drained or defeated quite often. And if we're not consistently filling ourselves in a healthy way, uh, it's, it's not, you know, eventually we're going to be empty and we're going to burn out. And it, obviously we have enough people in the world being burned out. We want to be a light for others. So I want to challenge you in this video to constantly refill yourselves. So I want to give you a couple ideas of how to refill yourselves. And I want you to ask yourself how you can refill yourselves because we're made in different ways. The way we're made up in our mind and physically we are, we're all different. So don't take exactly what I say. I'm just giving you some ideas. So as you can tell, I just got back from the gym or based on what I'm wearing. So again, after five, six hours of doing emails and doing prep work for speaking in this next up and coming season of my life, um, I was kind of you know drained mentally. So I wanted to get more energy. So I decided to go to the gym despite being tired or wanting to take a nap. Um, like, I'm gonna go to the gym and, and create some energy. So I did and uh, here I am uh, having enough energy to, to do this video for you. So maybe it's working out for you, maybe it's creating, or maybe it's going for a walk, maybe you're not a big workout person or going for a jog, whatever. Maybe sometimes uh, uh, um, creating energy sometimes takes a little bit of energy. Um, some people it's personal growth. So for example, I'm reading a book right now on plant-based diets. So it's kind of like a two for one. Like I, I, you know, we, uh, I often want to get my mind stimulated. If I'm bored, so often in school, if I'm not into a subject, I'm gonna fall asleep because I'm bored. So maybe we're constantly tired because our heart and our mind isn't stimulated the way you know, we want it to be. So maybe it's whether it's personal growth or leadership or spiritual or financial, it doesn't matter. Find something that you're really excited about learning about, maybe do some personal growth. And that helps refill us and therefore we can give back to others. Because again, we can't give what we don't have. If we don't have energy, we really can't give it. And doing things like Red Bull and like, you know, those, those fake energy things, uh, it just actually makes us more drained in the end because we have that crash. So, so when we're doing artificial things, we can't expect things to go the natural way. So I'm going to challenge you to do, again, refill yourself in a, in a lasting way that will energize you for the future. Uh, other ways are being alone. Some people are introverted where they get more energy from being alone. Some people like planning and it gets them excited about where they're going. Some people, again, maybe you want to uh, wake up earlier and sometimes often we don't want to wake up at 6 a.m. But when it comes to a vacation that we have to get up at 5 in the morning to go to the airport, we're excited about getting up. So if you're like one of those people, hey, there's nothing wrong with you. It just means knowing yourself that you're like, hey, I get excited about new and exciting things. So maybe you get refilled or energized or refocused by something new and exciting that you want to build or create or just be a part of. So maybe that's refilling for you. So I hope those gave you enough ideas to kind of start from you know, where you want to go. So again, let me ask you so you can take your next step. How do you refill yourselves? How do you keep yourself very focused or just consistently focused so you can become a great leader um, or be the leader that you want to be so your actions align with who you already are? So I want to challenge you to do so because often we don't try to refill ourselves. We try to medicate ourselves or make ourselves comfortable. And what we think we're doing is refilling ourselves, but we're really not. For example, Netflix binging or show binging um, or going out very late at night partying with our friends. Now, I'm not here to condemn or judge. I'm just saying after watching TV for four hours, I don't have more energy. If anything, I want to take a nap and I don't have more energy or I'm not more focused on my goals. I'm actually the exact opposite. Or after going out really late at night with my friends, I wake up uh, you know, with a hangover or I don't feel as good. I'm groggy the whole next day. So again, there's a big difference between being comfortable and doing what I feel like doing and actually refilling ourselves, re-energizing ourselves. Again, why are we doing this? Is because we want real joy, real passion, real direction in our life. So if you want to be a great leader or live a life on common, let me challenge you to refill yourself in a healthy, sustainable way so you don't feel drained like most or some of our society.